Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this faux freckle brown eyelash spring slash summertime look. So if you want to see how I got this right here, go ahead and keep on watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. First things first, I'm going in with my Milani Glow Tinted Moisturizer. And I'm applying this with a kabuki brush all over the perimeters of my face, down my neck, on my decollete, and even on my shoulders. This is a really great way to even out your skin tone from your face to your neck without using a ton of coverage. Foundation, I'm going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1. Just taking a pump right here and taking this on a beauty blender and pouncing this into my skin. This is super full coverage and it's going to really work to cover any of the blemishes that the tinted moisturizer did not. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter than the tinted moisturizer, so I'm just keeping this in the center of my face. And I'll go back in with that tinted moisturizer to continue um, shearing out the perimeter and just making sure it blends seamlessly. For contour, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in the shade Almond, and I am just applying this to my cheekbones, my forehead, and underneath my jawline. For concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger, and I'm just applying this under my eyes, um, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin, and I go ahead and blend this out with a beauty blender as well. And then I keep going back in with that tinted moisturizer brush to smooth out the edges. Now I'm gonna take that same contour on a flat angled brush like this, and I'm trying out this new technique for nose contour. So as opposed to doing it on the sides of the nose, I'm really making sure to be precise and take it down the bridge of the nose to really slim it even more. And then I'm going to create this button nose shape by drawing actually a circle on my nose and filling it in, not completely, but enough to kind of straighten it out. The nose contour techniques are getting more and more complicated, but I just wanted to test this out and see how I like it. To brighten things up some more, I'm going in with the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, and I'm just applying this in the same place as I applied the NARS Concealer, but um, just a little bit less to sort of build that dimension, and then again, blending that out with the Beauty Blender. To blend out the nose contour, I'm taking a more detailed brush and just smoothing out these lines. This is always the tricky part about a nose contour is you don't want to over blend and get rid of it, um, but you also obviously can't just walk around with these lines on your face. So this is the part that takes a little bit of care. So I go back in with my beauty blender and I'm pretty much just using that to blend out the concealer and the lighter parts and I just use the detail brush to blend out the lines and I decide I don't want to mess this up anymore. Um, I don't want to over blend it. I don't want to get rid of it. So another technique you can do um, in that case is to take some foundation. I'm taking the L'Oreal Pro Glow and just go right on top of it. That way the imprint is still there um, and you just created a light veil on top to sort of blend it. Okay, now for the freckles. I'm going in with my LA Girl Brow Pomade and I'm just twisting some on a little tiny brush like this and drawing dots on my finger. From there, I'm going to tap those dots onto my skin lightly. And I kind of put them like everywhere. Um, if I'm going to do a freckle look, I'm going to do a freckle look and I'm just going to go for it. And it's okay for them not to be perfect because freckles aren't perfect to begin with. So just make sure you're lightly tapping them on. I really like to focus them on my cheeks and to make them look lived in, I pounce a beauty blender right on top. To set my makeup, I'm going in with my e.l.f. HD powder and I'm just taking a little bit on my beauty blender and rolling and bouncing my sponge off of my face 
to set the t-zone area i'm fine with the perimeter being shiny using my very old anastasia beverly hills palette i am just reinforcing my contour with powder and a big fluffy brush and going on a smaller detailed brush with that same contour i'm swiping this under my eyelids and on top of my eyelids just to create some dimension here as well and then i do this little swoopy thing to kind of create that cat like effect now i'm using my glamnetic felt tip magnetic liner in the shade brown to create my base for my magnetic lashes this has a magnetic hold that when you apply the lashes on top it'll stick on and stay on for days no glue at all i love this because you completely eliminate a step right now i'm doing liner and it's also acting as my holding power for my lashes so i'm using these lashes they're called twinkle and they're brown you guys i am totally here for the brown eyelash trend i feel like it's so natural and cute and perfect for spring and summer just to complement the eyes, I'm doing a little bit of black mascara on the bottom. Brown mascara would have looked better, but I just couldn't find any. <laughs> so I actually have no mascara on my top lashes because I wanted it to mesh with the brown. And then I realized I'm a ding dong and I totally could have used this brown um, liner for my freckles. So if you want to do that, you can do that as well. For blush, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Yacht Life. This is like this peachy golden pink color that is just perfect for spring and i'm actually obsessed with it i'm doing this more in like a w shape on the center of my face and applying some to my lips as well now i'm going to line my lips with the morphe pencil in the shade coffee and kissy i'm overdrawing just a little bit in the center but pretty much true to size on the outside corners Next, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk and just dusting on a tiny bit to the center of the lips and then buffing this out with my finger. To add even more dimension, I'm going back in with that Yacht Life Matchsticks and tapping this on the very center of my lips. Cleaning up the edges with a beauty blender to really define the shape of the lips. Oh my gosh, and this stuff, this e.l.f. Sheer Slick Stick in Grapefruit, I really love it, and I'm just adding to the center. It makes the lips super juicy and adds a tiny bit of color. Next, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder, and I'm just setting my T-Zone one last time. For brows, I'm going in with my NYX Brow Pencil, and I swear this is just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I'm just lightly filling in my brows ever so gently. Once I've applied all my product, I'm going to turn it around and use the other side, which is a spoolie, and brush the product through my brows. This makes it look really natural and hair-like. To set these brows, I'm just using my Great Lash Clear Mascara. You can use any brow gel you want, and I just comb them up, up, and away. I comb the hair straight up in the center, and then off to a diagonal on the tails. For highlight, I'm going in with this RMS Beauty. Sorry, you can't really see it. This is in the shade Champagne Rose, and it is a cream highlight, and I'm just taking some on my ring finger, warming it up on the back of my hand, and tapping this onto the high points of my face. I really love a nice cream highlight for summertime and spring. It just looks like really juicy skin. And for a little bit more blush, I'm going in with my favorite Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. And I'm just tapping this right on top everywhere. And here's the final look. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.